guys, Mankator here today. Today I'm going to be showing you a uh, custom chest loot and loot plus plus's uh, chest items and chest blocks. Now, first off, this is a loot chest from loot plus plus. A loot chest specifically draws from a pool of items, in this case dungeon chest, to give you an, a block when placed that spawns in all those items. As you can see right here. This is horrible. Rich, why do you change my things? Is that my head? This is beautiful. I just realized the pattern it spawned was incredibly weird. It's damage voles, Rich, a saddle, and a me. What is that? And this is a sword be I don't know if that's coincidence spawning or what. Seriously, that is creepy. Let's try again. There we go. That's less creepy. So, as you can see, we have some loot items and stuff. And loot pulls stuff. I've probably seen this before. It's because it's the dungeon chest from the, from the, um, the dungeon spawners. Mm -hmm. You know those little mossy areas and stuff. So yeah, this is the chest that spawns with them. Usually it spawns one to three. So let's say we got three. This is making moves, a bucket, skill orb. Yeah, I have mods add in lots of stuff, don't they? There's, that's kind of stupid. I'm gonna increase that later. Anyway, so um, uh, yeah. You can modify this now. That that's the entire video. Okay, good night everybody. Okay, sorry. <laughs> seriously. Um You can modify this and add your own loot chest. So I added some loot chests first off. I added loot chests using two methods. Uh I use loot plus plus itself and uh custom chest suit. So custom chest suit I added a few chests. Now here are loot items, and I'll explain those later for now, we're just gonna ignore that for now. Uh, the chests I added were book chest. And, uh, not that, that's a stupid one. Not that. Actually, copper chest might be good. Um, where is it? Ah, new chest, also. And, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else was? Where's my silver chest? Sandwich. deal. Here we are. So I added this chest, this chest, and this chest. The, I broke it because my stupid knee! Stupid, stupid knee. Okay. So the first chest, the book chest, uh, actually we should go with the steel chest, which is here. Now the steel chest adds in the basic generic stuff. This is not the steel chest. I am spoiling the chest because I'm an FNG genius. The steel chest adds in like an average stuff, you know, steel armor, steel ingots, steel sword, enchanted steel apple, stuff like that. Uh, the book chest and the new chest add in some custom things. So this is like a generic chest, which we're gonna punch away now. And replace it with another one. So yeah, as you can see, it's generic steel stuff. Now this next one is the book chest, which adds in two things. First off, diamonds, which everyone loves. And second, uh, this goes here. Second, we have enchanted books. Now these books kind of are good, kind of are poop, but yeah, they're varies because, um, yeah, they just vary. And also, they can also stack up to, I think I said the max was five. We didn't get any five, we got four. So yeah, punch, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> Blah, 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 blah. It uses the same way as the item that you use to spawn it. Um, in case you're wondering what I mean by that, I use the command, a function thing with it, and yeah. Pretty awesome. So the final chest here just gives random enchantments to certain items, like this pickaxe. So, yes. New chest is actually my favorite chest because it's just pretty powerful. Except for that case where we got nothing. Ooh, Shepard's five so few little Anyway, so you can customize a lot of things in these chests. You can try to customize damage. So that 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 chicken is like a tank man. He took the hit and just flew away. Get back here. Now you're dead. Is there an invisible chicken? Now you're dead too. He stole your soul. Delicious sauce. Anyway, um, so, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, you can customize the damage, the color, if you're using leather armor or arrow trails, and all the type of stuff. 
including MBT, enchantments, whatever the F you want. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, there is one more thing you can do with this to make it even better. Now, you can use conditionals, but I don't know how they work at the moment, so I can't show that off. So, oh. what conditionals are basically can make it so that if this steel chest is placed on, let's say, um, this wooden block or something, it will give you different, completely different info <coughs> or whatever. Which will be awesome, but I don't know how the fudge to do that because I'm stupid. Yes, exactly. So, put the pig. Put the cow. Oh my god, that cow was just nuked. He's dead. Okay, that pig is not in time. Okay. Distracted. Oh no, I'm not getting distracted on purpose. It's just I need to get some loot crates. So for the next part, loot items and loot chests. So loot chests, you can make them drop off of mobs using mob properties or any, even loot plus plus itself. I personally use mob properties because it's a lot more user friendly. And so you can get these chests which you place once in a world and then you can't pick them up because they just place them. Just so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, speaking of loot chests, I don't know if you guys have, this is not a sponsored video, if you're gonna get mad at me for saying this, it's not a sponsored video, please fudge off if you have a problem with that. Thank you. Um, if you guys have heard, there's actually a new little mine chest coming out for, uh, Minecraft. It's the Minecraft official loot crate, and I'm not gonna lie, I think it's pretty awesome. That's all I want to say about it. <laughs> I just had to say that because it's really cool. I don't know if you guys know about it, which is why I'm telling you, because it's pretty effing awesome. They have the... I got the beta chest, and probably gonna get the nether chest, I'm not sure though, but anyway! I ignore my head in the background over that. why do I have three hats? And it's because I am secretly a three-headed- no, it's just counting these extra hats here. Nah, uh, don't ask me why. Anyway, so... Loot items can be useful. Now, the problem with using a loot chest is that you give too many items at once. So, like, with the steel chest here, I get, like, five different things that I can get. <coughs> loot items... I can narrow that a bit. So let me just get. Where are you, steel chest? That's a sandwich. There you are. I can get only the metal deep chest plate. So it's more useful to drop from mobs. However, I've taken that one step further and made it so that it costs the user to uncreate these items. I'm a very cruel person, aren't I? Anyway, so we get the zoop chest. And you need to make some keys. Now, keys in my mob pack. Are not cheap. They cost two ingots and gold. Yes, I saw so expensive. My god, look at how expensive that is. Uh, you use this, you use a crate, you open it. Makes an awesome noise. You got a steel sword. Use it again. You got a couple shovel. Use it again. Got- WOW! <laughs> and now you're probably wondering, Akitori, why'd you go crazy over pants? These pants are incredibly hard to get in my mod pack. Just to get something enchanted from a loot crate. That's incredibly rare. Yeah, I'm literally at one in a hundred chats. And I got it on video. God damn it. That's awesome. If this thing is enchanted, I am going to be really mad. It's just a hoe, thank god. I was gonna say the game has broken. Anyway, so yeah, you can use that with loot chests, loot items. And if you're smart like me, you can make it cost the user to open it. That is, I'm not Valve, I swear to god, I'm not Valve. I just want the user to have to pay a little and work a little hard to unlock their hard earned loot. And plus, my chests have a chance to unlock something called a random chest, which is kind of awesome. And you totally should. Not stealing my idea at all. God dang it, I released it on the internet. It's gonna be stolen in the next five seconds. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy the video, why the fuck are you still watching Indy? Yeah. Oh yeah, let me actually show you something fun that you can do. Uh, with the zoo chest, I can actually get the... Um, a sandwich. A blacksmith. Where is it? I need to find my book chest. It's bonus chest. Wizard did it. Where is my book? I can do this. That's not good. I can do this. That's not good. 
Actually, I just realized. That's also another thing that's interesting about these loot items. With these loot items, you don't normally get, um... Well, when I use the book chest, and I place it, I have a chance of getting enchanted books. But if I use book chest without the actual chest block, it don't work. That's because of the way it's programmed. But that's pretty cool. I can do this with uh, magic. Yes, yeah, magic. Whatever. You can actually, that's actually a very viable method. You can make it so that when you get the loot item, it's nowhere near as fantastic as finding the actual chest itself. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea, Akitori. <coughs> We killed that pig. We're still geniuses. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, why the fuck are you still watching? And I uh, guess, seriously though, uh, that's my remarks. Um, you should really look at the uh, mind chest. Okay. It's like you! Okay, I'm done now. Bye. Bye. Yeah, no one's gonna let me live that down now. I think I'm selling out even though the mind chest didn't even pay me or sponsor me in any way, shape, or form. I wish they did! <laughs> I need some <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, everyone.